How's it going? Today we're going to be killing the coronavirus on this MacBook. Die, Corona. Die. Yes. Die. And then we're going to fix it. Die, Corona. Die. Beer virus. The goggles are, it filters out blue light. I kind of like it like that. How can I help you? Did you integrate the two new cameras into the existing camera system or is that going to the NAS? For those wondering why do I wear a mask in my own office, it's because people who are my staff will walk in every now and then and ask questions in close proximity. And having to put the shit on and off and on and off and on and off is a pain in the ass. If the day is over and I'm the only person here and I'm working on my bicycle, no mask. If I'm standing around 14 employees, mask. 14. Jesus Christ. I can't believe what a bloated company this has become. So many people. Do you miss Paul sitting right behind you? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. When I really need to get work done and be alone, I like to have the lack of distraction because I'm very easily distracted. Yeah, I'm a very easily distracted person. So it helps for me to block. So what I do to get around it is I like to block out the distractions entirely. So I'll ignore everybody. Even if they have a legit question, I will have my headphones on. And I'll do what I need to be doing. So the first thing that I do here, as with every MacBook, is I unplug the battery. Because I want to see how much power the board is taking, not what the battery is taking. Yeah.
I'm going to plug in the USB-C charger and the USB-C amp meter. I actually like these UV goggles. What I like, okay, so one port doesn't do anything. And the other port, I missed throwing junk at the wall at the old store. You didn't work at the old store. Yeah, interesting. One port boot loops. The other port just does nothing. And something tells me that we have a wee bit of liquid damage. That looks like a droplet. I hope it, hopefully it's not a corona droplet. Please don't be a corona droplet. Okay, so we're going to take the board out of the machine and kill all of its corona droplets. I don't think I stopped Ruslan, I just think I did it less often. But most certainly that still is... I think I replaced the socket jester by just calling people cunts when I think that they're being a cunt. Maybe, sing around, maybe. Hello, man in Paris? This is the first stream I've watched of you. Well, gee, I hope I don't disappoint. Now I'm going to be stressed out. I'll be glad when you can get your original gloves after beer virus is over. feel like I'm watching a very kinky porn. Yeah, beer virus, I hope, really does end at some point. You have the dictator of New York City, Dictator Cuomo, saying that if people don't distance enough, he will shut down the city again and put everybody in prison. Which is interesting. It's interesting to hear him lecturing everybody about this, given that even with the Javits Center readily available and everybody was willing to set it up to be its own isolated hospital, you decided to put all the old people, force all the old people with coronavirus back into nursing homes that were not equipped to deal with people that have coronavirus. And give it a middle. Yeah, I love it. Should people be going out to bars and really talking in a close distance at each, for, with random people they don't know right now? Probably not. But when you look at the stats for who the disease kills, should you be forcing nursing homes to take COVID patients? No. So shut the fuck up, Mr. Cuomo. It is what it is. I didn't vote for that fuck. I voted for Larry Sharp. You know who else voted for Larry Sharp? Less than 2% of the damn population. So, at the end of the day, I think we kind of deserve who we vote for. We get the government that we deserve in many ways here in New York City. We get the government that we deserve.